What uh, eventually turned into House Bill 304 was brought to my attention by Georgia Agri Business Council, and it was essentially uh, some tax assessors, auditors down in South Georgia County were um, were charging or, or doing away with the Freeport exemption on raw materials used to uh, blend fertilizer. And uh, the NP and K was the part that they were trying to charge tax on and it's really not chargeable and it's clear in the law uh, until it becomes a blended product. Uh, all 304 does is clarify to some of these people that really don't understand how fertilizer is made uh, that the, the raw ingredients actually are not taxable uh, as they are held uh, for blending purposes and held to, uh, to make commercial fertilizer. Uh, the vote was uh, in the whole house last week, uh, what was it, 174 to nothing, something like that anyway. Uh, it passed out of both Ways and Means subcommittee and big committee with no dissenting votes. Passed out of the house with no dissenting votes and now it's in the Senate. Uh, we hope it'll be that easy over there uh, where they may not understand agriculture quite as good as uh, the house people do. but. We hope it'll be just as easy on that side. This kind of stuff is, is you hate to have to do this on an individual product, but when people that don't understand uh, what they're doing as far as free port exemption start charging tax on it, it makes the price of fertilizer go up, which makes it cost more to the end user, which is 99.9% .9 of the time the farmer. So this is why we did this, and I hope it helps the South Georgia counties that, that had already been exempted from Freeport, where well, they started charging tax on it, and I hope it keeps it from spreading all over the state by doing this one piece of legislation.